The fake interiors shader works with almost any type of object, but it's not an automated solution. User input is required, as you will have to adjust room division, texture tile and offset values in order to best fit your assets. The technique is ideally suited for environment or background objects. Dark rooms work best as they bring out environment reflections instead of driving attention to the simple interior textures. Before we start, it's important to note that the shader assumes that the mesh Y-axis points up. Simply setting the shader on a material applied to the default Unity Plane Mesh will not work as expected, as the axis is not correctly set up for that purpose. There are several parameters available for texture use and tiling control. Let's start by briefly examining them. You can control the color tint of your rooms and adjust their brightness. There's also an optional facade texture that overlays a full RGB texture on top of the effect. It's quite useful for simple buildings and great if you need to overlay glass dirt on top of the effect. Along with the facade albedo texture, you can also define a smoothness texture or a specific value. Keep in mind that although the metallic is set to zero, you can very well use our editor to customize the fake interior shader. You can use one floor texture, two wall textures, X and Z respectively, one ceiling texture and one prop layer texture. How many walls your texture contains is entirely up to you. Simply adjust the tiling parameters as required. Tiling and offset parameters allow you to tweak the position and size of the rooms. Room tile multiplies the amount of rooms based on the value set below. Room XYZ defines the tile amount of the actual wall, ceiling and floor, while W is used for the prop layer. As the name hints, position offset XYZW is used to adjust our room elements along with the prop layer. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.